Joe Biden, you really, 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 really are trying to make my life difficult right now. Now I'm just playing. What's up, everybody? So, um, Joe Biden has updated the travel regulations, and I say he's making my life difficult, but I'm just playing. Um, but now nah, I know it's all for safety reasons, but um, it still is a pain in the ass, all these different like travel updates. So I'm trying to keep you guys updated with everything that happens. So about a month ago, I made a travel video stating that um, if you are not fully vaccinated and you are a U.S. citizen, then you have 24 hours um, to get a negative COVID test upon entry into the country. And if you're fully vaccinated, then you have 72 hours. Well, now Joe Biden stated this upcoming Monday, December the 6th, um, starting December 6th, regardless of your vaccination status, uh, you have to have a negative COVID test 24 hours before entry into the country. So um, it does kind of suck. You don't get that 72 hour time frame for the people who are vaccinated. I guess because of this new Megatron or Omicron, whatever, however you call it, this new variant that's coming into place. Um, yeah, because of this, I guess now he's trying to make it a little bit more strict. So instead of having 72 hours, you got to do it within 24 hours. Uh, like I said, it is kind of a hassle because there's just one more extra thing you got to do when you travel. I know that I told you like in that previous video that I've been to some countries and, you know, it was a breeze getting COVID tests. But then other places, you know, it kind of took a little bit longer to get my results back. So now that the fact that we only got 24 hours before our flight, it kind of raises the stakes a little bit higher. Um, it's just a lot more pressure, you know, to make sure that, you know, everything goes right because um, you definitely don't want to get stuck in the country. So um, my biggest advice for travelers now internationally is um, when, as soon as you get to your country, you need to establish that right away. Um, talk to the people at the hotel, um, the desk receptionist or, you know, go around the city, ask people, just figure out where you're going to get tested. If you can get tested by appointment, that's even better. So you have a set time. But if not, um, you definitely want to get that situated like that should be the first thing you do um, when you travel and then another little tip I'll just say is like um, for people who like have vacations and they call off for work I would just give myself an extra day just in case like something happens so let's just say your vacation will be four days I will actually take off five days just so that if you know you don't get your negative um, results 24 hours before your flight at least you got an extra day to try to like recover if something goes wrong so um, you know that's just like a little safe practice right now. It's like before, you know, the seven, two hour time frame, um, that was a little bit more lenient and I felt like was a little bit more doable. But now doing this in 24 hours, um, it can be a little bit stressful. So like I said, as soon as you get to the country, you need to already establish that where you're going to get tested, how much it's going to cost and when will you get the results back. In terms of um, non-U.S. citizens entering the United States, it's still the same thing. Um, you have to be vaccinated. Now, this is for air travel. I'm not speaking about land travel because I had people in the last video that was talking about, like, what if you crossing the border by land? This is specifically for international air travel, okay? Um, for international air travel, if you are a non-U.S. citizen, um, you do have to be vaccinated. That is according to Joe Biden. So the only people who are exempt for that are people under the age of two. So once again, quick little recap. Regardless of vaccination status, you have 24 hours before your flight into the United States to have a negative COVID test. Okay, um, that starts December the 6th. If anything else changes, you already know I'm going to give you the updates on it. I'm going to be honest, I'm getting a little tired of traveling um, during COVID. I've been traveling a lot this year, Done went to several countries this year, but um, it has not been the best pleasurable experience um, traveling during COVID. It's just all these small little nuances that you have to do in order to travel, like submitting paperwork, taking COVID tests, do all this stuff. And then um, coming back to the United States, you got to get another COVID test. It's like, I'm kind of ready for this whole pandemic thing to end. I just feel like this is the times that we're living in right now. So we're just going to have to kind of adjust. And um, hopefully one day we'll see the end of this. But um, yeah, I just want everybody to stay safe out there. Don't forget to give this video a like, hit that subscribe button. All right, peace.